We are down here at Titleist to do what no one else is doing this week, and that is to have a little rummage through Peter Yuleine's very personal golf bag. How are you feeling about this little thing we're about to do? I feel invaded. I feel like my space is invaded, and uh, but yeah, we'll uh, yeah we'll see what's going on in there. First of all, I just want you to tell me what is the club that's really getting you going at the moment. What are you striking the best? Two iron, I'd say. Yeah, yeah I hit my two iron really, really well. Yeah. Um, yeah, this guy, he's good. Yeah. It's a new one. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, he's, he's sweet. I like him. Okay, so going with the obvious, who's this little guy we've got here? I have a Siberian Husky named Bagger, and that was a uh, Christmas gift from him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just to remind me of him, I guess. So just take us through a little bit, what's happening in this bag at the moment? Yeah, I got a lot of... I mean, new stuff for me. Uh, new Titleist SM6 wedges. Got them right before China. Uh, threw them in the bag right away. And uh, then I got these 716 MBs. I played the 680s forever and finally switched to these. And I mean, I love them. They're really, really good. And three wood, uh, yeah, 915F, F, yeah, with a uh, new shaft from Mitsubishi. It's sometimes pretty good. And. Uh, <laughs> And then, uh, personal favorite. yeah, personal favorite. Yeah, then the driver, old school V2 shaft, uh, 9.5, um, cut down an inch, so it's 44 inches. And uh, yeah, it's probably, it's quietly become one of my favorite ones in the bag. So, uh, and then a uh, Scotty, Scotty putter, old school. I've used it for about seven, eight years. So, I don't really tinker around too much with this guy. So, um, but yeah, all, all titles, no surprise. No surprise. Mm -hmm. When you don't strike the ball as well as you could, do these clubs get a bit of a battering? This one time in China, it um, didn't go very well off the tee, and uh, yeah, he had a little moment with it, but we'll probably not go any further it's than one, that. No, it's the one that, yeah, I mean, I'll tell a story. Okay. Yeah, please yeah, do. Yeah, I'll tell it. So I hooked it left, thought it was out of bounds, hit another one, turned left, uh, was just going to just chuck it into the fence because I was so angry, and so I chucked it, somehow hit the rope, catapulted, jumped it over this like 15 foot tall fence in China. I mean, gone. I mean, so couldn't get it. Yeah. I mean, I was playing with Mateo and we just turned, he just turned and looked at me and I just, we just burst it out laughing. Yeah. Because it was just gone. You're just like, we are not getting this thing back. It's still in China. It was in someone's back garden. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. So, yeah. And just final thing, I can't let you go without having a little rummage through here. What yeah. Was the they went into some of these pockets right at the bottom here. Sam? Probably bricks. Yeah, there's some little bits. There's one in just like second from bottom here. There's a little bit of husky hair. It must be a bit <laughs> superstitious. If we, <laughs> if we went for a tea peg, we'll probably have a bit of it coming out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. A little bit there. Right. so my mom thought it'd be a great idea. She, you know, my my dog sheds a lot, so she took all his hair, put it in my bag. Didn't tell me, so I like, um, so I was going in my bag. Well, the bag that she put the hair in ripped, so I have a ton of hair all over my bag, and I like, I like went in to grab a tea, and there was just all this fur, and I'm like, what is going on? And there's just a big pile in there, and I can't get it out now. It's just, it's all rummaged in the tees and the gloves. It's all stuck in there, and it's, I mean, yeah. I'm so mad at it. I mean, it sounds delightful. <laughs> well, guys, thank you. It's been a pleasure, and best of luck for the rest of the week, Peter. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you.